This video tutorial is going to show you how to load a web page into your tabbed application. So we're continuing to work on our tabbed application that we uh, started a, a couple of weeks ago here. Um, and um, I'm going to add one more tab view to this, another view controller um, that will contain a, um, a web page and show you how to add the code for that. Uh, however, we do need to add one more tab because I'm going to leave my first view controller um, as my welcome screen. Um, and so, as you recall, to add a new view controller, uh, we're simply going to go to File, New, and select File. And remember, remember we're in the new um, uh, Xcode, version of Xcode, uh, just recently released, and so it uh, looks a little bit different than the first time we did this, um, but we're simply going to follow the same procedure. Select source. Coco Touch class file is what we will be adding. And click next. Uh, it is going to be class view controller, uh, but we're going to call it fourth view controller. Um, subclass of UI view controller. Um, no nib file here. Uh, we'll put a little PDF out sometime to tell you the story about this um, XIB type of file. Um, but leave that unchecked. Uh, and the language we'll be using is, uh, is Objective-C. You notice now in Xcode 6, of course, you have this option to switch to Swift. Um, we're going to stick with Objective-C for the moment and click Next. Uh, we're going to leave the uh, target as My Tab App. Leave it in the My Tab App group. Uh, it's going to put the view controller in here and click create. Um, and so it gives me the fourth view controller header file and the implementation file here. Um, and I'm just going to go back to the main storyboard uh, view here. Uh, locate a view controller again, drag it out. Um, with the view controller selected, um, I'm going to go up to the um, Identity Inspector here um, and from the class pull-down menu here, select Fourth View Controller that you should see in there that we created. Um, with the third um, Attributes Inspector selected uh, from the Inspector panel up here, so we want the Attributes Inspector selected. We're going to go to the title for the fourth view controller here, and we'll just call it fourth. That's fine. And then the um, only other thing that we need to do here is to hook it up, actually hook the view controller up to the um, tab bar controller uh, over here. And so we simply uh, click and drag from the tab bar controller over to the view controller and choose view controllers from the relationship segue. Uh, we're going to select the uh, tab bar icon down the bottom here. I haven't created a new one for this, but I can get a um, um, an icon from the um, options list here by having this selected and going up once again um, and looking at the attributes inspector and you'll notice where it says System Item Custom from the pop-up menu. I have a list of um, presets here um, that we could we could choose from, um, and I feel free to experiment with any of these. But I'm going to put in um, simply more. So I've got more, and I've got this little dot 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 icon that appears here in the fourth view controller, and also appears here in my tab application. So, um, now if I run it, just preview it, make sure everything's working. We'll see we've got our first page, second page, with where we have our sound playing, third page where we have our animation, and now the fourth page, and nothing's there, but at least it takes us to that page. Okay, so, pause the um, simulator, and now we're ready to... Uh, Add some code here to make sure that our um, to to view a web page in here. 
Um, well, almost ready to add, add some code. Actually, what we want to do is we want to add the web view um, uh, object itself from the object library. And so we scroll down um, in the object library until you see web view. And you're going to then click and drag web view out into <coughs> your um, view controller screen and release it. And so you notice that it fills up the whole screen here, including all the way down to the um, tab bar uh, there. And if I wanted to raise that up a little bit so that the web page doesn't show behind the tab bar, I can do that. Uh, it's not a terrible thing to leave it there like that, but um, you can see you can resize the actual web view area. And then um, we're ready to um, add the code here to make this web view actually load a uh, web page. Uh, to do that, with the view controller selected, and remember now we click on the top of the view controller to select it, and then we go to the um, assistant editor, click on the icon here, and it brings us to the fourth view controller.m file, but as you know, we want to start with the fourth view controller header file first. So we want to start with the header um, um, file here, and all we've got is import UI kit interface fourth view controller UI view controller, um, and we're simply going to um, uh, add a couple of spaces here, um, get our UI web view here, and treat it like the other objects that we have so far. Um, and we're going to control, click, and drag up into the header file. Leave it as an outlet. That's what it's going to be. But we're going to call it my web view. Leave it type UI web view, the storage weak. Click connect. Um, and so that's all we need to do here. Um, notice it's created my web view uh, as an object here of the UI web view class. So now we switch to the implementation file, the M file. Um, one thing we need to do whenever we um, uh, create one of these outlets is we have to write in the synthesize statement. So at synthesize, right below the implementation for view controller line, synthesize. And the property is simply going to be, and you can see when you start typing my web view, it knows what you're going to do, and then a semicolon to end that line. And then um, all we need to do with this is to add some code to the view did load um, void view did load method right here, the very first method um, that's a part of this. Um, and um, we're simply going to put in the following code. We're going to go self dot my web view gives us a hint. So go ahead and let uh, let it populate that. Okay. We're going to say load request, and um, we want colon square bracket n s u r l request. So this one we want, nsurl request, space, request with URL. So we can take that one, colon, and then we're going to have, once again, square brackets, nsurl, and then space, URL, with string. After the colon here, we're going to um, simply type in the um, web address itself. So we're going to start with the at symbol, um, quotation marks, and we're going to say HTTP colon, whoops, and then I think it's appropriate that we use www.colum.edu. Close the quotation marks, and then you should have one, two, and three square brackets to close this um, uh, block out, and then a semicolon. 
And so that should do it. And now we're, we'll uh, build it and see how we go. So I'm going to run and build. And so we've got our first tab, second tab for sound, third tab for animation. And when I click on our last page here, it's going to load the Columbia website. Uh, and this Columbia website is nicely designed for mobile devices, letting you navigate to different uh, areas. And um, it almost acts like a a little web-based app um, on your phone. So that's how to add a web view um, to your tabbed app uh, view controller.